right, this is going to be an unboxing of the Steiner Mark III Battle Light. As you guys know, I've also picked up a couple other Steiner products. The Mark V Battle Light was my first flashlight from them, and I got my first optic from them. But I saw this on sale somewhere, and I decided to go for it. So the Mark III has a output of 500 lumens and what is different about this light versus the other ones it is also an IR flood light. So this light comes with a pressure pad, runs off of two CR123A batteries, it's submersible to up to 5 meters, a runtime of 1.25 hours, and it has a range around 250 meters. So open it up, it comes with a pressure pad, the light, and two CR123 batteries. Velcro comes on the pressure pad with an adhesive back so you can mount it on your rifle. And here's the light itself. It's, it's, wow, it's actually light. It looks big and bulky. I don't know how much it weighs, let's see. I mean, once I picked it up, I thought it was going to be a lot heavier, but. So, six ounces. It's not heavy at all. It looks very bulky, but this uh, the weight, you can almost probably not tell it's going to be on the rifle. But it is a nice looking light. Like most of their products, it looks nice. Comes standard with a QD mount. On this one, I like that fact and having instead of having to buy another mount like when you get surefires or something like that. Mount seems tight. And on the back you have controls. You have the button to fire, the port to mount the pressure pad, and the controls. So it has high visible light, low visible light, high infrared and low infrared. I also believe it has a constant on momentary and strobe function. And I believe that is all in the box. Usually that's it. They don't come with any instructions about it. Let's see where these batteries go in. It looks like they go here somewhere. I don't want to tear this up my first time pulling it out. Let's try it this way. There we go. All right, so just lift this latch up. And what comes after that? Pull that down, and here's the battery port. It's clearly indicated which way the batteries are supposed to go. snaps back into place all right so right now I believe it's an off so if I press it nothing happens low IR high IR let's see if I can adjust it between low and high and see if we can tell the difference on camera So there is a, that's momentary, and then I double tap for constant on. And let's see the low visible. I'm not sure what lumen output is on the low visible. And high visible is the 500 output. And it's nice and bright. And on the top, oh, so okay, all the way up is strobe function. I assume that is at 500 lumens. So right out the box, this is a very nice looking light. I'm probably going to mount it on the new rifle I am building. I'm going to mount it up or pair it with the R1X. And I actually have a Steiner D-Ball coming as well. So I'm going to have three different products from Steiner on my new rifle. But I'm looking forward to testing this out. 
I actually don't have night vision yet, so no real use for this, but eventually when I do, I will be testing this out with night vision first, probably over anything else I do have, along with the D-ball. But thanks for watching.